what public relations is. For some people, public relations is all about media relations. It's writing news releases, it's uh, identifying media contacts, it's creating newsworthy events. For others, public relations is about social media. It's uh, posting stuff on Facebook or uh, uh, posting pictures on Instagram or organizing contents on TikTok. Whatever it may be, the definition of public relations is not really about all these things. Yes, as a public relations person, you may write a news release or you may uh, send a picture to Instagram, but you're doing it with a certain goal in mind. This is not a goal of public relations in itself. The goal of public relations is building and maintaining relationships with different publics. Who are the publics, you may ask? And organizations, same way as people, and it doesn't matter what organizations they are, uh, uh, for-profit corporations or non-profit uh, charities or even governmental organizations, they have a lot of publics or audiences or whatever other stakeholders, whatever other word you may uh, say to describe them, that organization really depends on. Uh, let me give you an example. Uh, let's say there is a certain corporation, let's call it C, corporation, and this corporation needs money to exist. And important public that gives money to the corporations are investors. Maybe they buy shares from the corporation, maybe they buy uh, obligatory notes, whatever type of investment they may have, the organization would have investors. Organization cannot really survive without employees. So another public would be employees. Another public would be customers. Perhaps if a non-profit organization has donors who donate money to this organization, then donors become an important public. Maybe there are volunteers. Maybe there is local community can be an important public for the organization. And we as public relations professional, our job is to maintain and build relationship with all those publics. Organization cannot really survive if the employees don't want to work for this organization. Organization cannot survive if investors don't have trust in it and sell their shares and don't believe in the management of this company. So as public relations people, our job is not just to send news releases. Our job is to identify the publics that we have and identify what kind of relationships we have with them and what can we do to make those relationships better. If investors don't understand our new product, let's say the new electric car that we designed, then our job is to communicate to the investors and explain to them what are the benefits of this new electric car and how it will help our company make money. If press release is the right way to do it, then we do press release. If a YouTube video is the right way to do it, we do YouTube video. If a meeting with investors between CEO of our company and the actual and the representatives of investors, then we do that. But we don't communicate just for the sake of communicating. We communicate in order to build and maintain relationships with our publics. So as a result, the definition of public relations is strategic communication process that builds mutually beneficial relationships between organization and their publics. I would actually add builds and maintains because I think maintaining an existing relationship is often more important than building a new one. But this is the definition officially uh, adopted by PRSA, Public Relations Society of America, and written by members of PRSA through a crowdsourcing effort that PRSA had a few years ago. So again, keep in mind that public relations is all about building and maintaining relationships. So what is a four-step process? The idea of the four-step process is to plan public relations campaign, to, to plan a good public relations campaign, you need to follow certain steps, certain guidelines. You need to start with research. That's step number one. You cannot do a campaign if you don't research who are the audiences, what they want, how to most effectively influence them or inform them or whatever, build relationship with them, whatever your goal is. Then planning, 
you plan your campaign, then you implement the campaign, then you evaluate. You need to measure the results. You need to know, did you achieve what you were going to achieve or you did not achieve. So this is the original four steps. And then the fifth step what added, was added a little bit later called stewardship, meaning maintaining relationship between the campaign. So here we talk about customer service. Here we talk about uh, gratitude to your volunteers or donors, depending upon your organization. It's basically maintaining relationship part. And the four step process, you find this theoretical foundation almost in any public relations textbook and uh, uh, different authors of the textbooks, they come up with different acronyms to describe the public relations process. RPIE is very famous, Research Planning Implementation Evaluation. ROPES, Research Objective Planning Implementation, or oh, I'm sorry, Evaluation Stewardship. RACES, Research Action Communication Evaluation Stewardship, and so on and so forth. So there are a lot of different acronyms, but no matter what acronym you see, they all talk about the same steps, the same four or five steps, whether you add stewardship at the end or not. They just have different names for, for, for the steps in order to create an acronym.